I'm just looking for a mirror. Is that right? Zoom in. Yeah. Welcome to outside a public convenience, just next to Motorline, which is my new used bike dealership. I'll talk about that later. I think um, I did speak about it when I was sat in my dad's son, uh, which is almost a year ago, probably over a year ago actually. Anyway, so today, well firstly, hello, because I probably haven't seen you or spoken directly to you guys for, it's got to be a year, isn't it? It's got to be. Um, and this bike, this is my R100 that I built for that uh, tobacco dock show, the bike shed thing, a couple of years ago now. It's never been on video. It's been sat in the lockup doing very little. And uh, I've just pumped the tyres up, started it, so it starts. It was for sale and up in Motorline and some fat bastard came and sat on it and broke the side stand, hence why <laughs> it's lent against the toilet. However, she rides, so let me take you on a little Saturday jaunt along the local country lanes near Alton in the South Downs of England. Uh, and hopefully we get more than five miles down the road. Let's do it. Okay. Mounted. There's no side stand. What am I doing? Uh, key is back here. Fuel. We have fuel. That's good. We have a visual fuel tap. Kill switch is on. Fuel taps are on. Here we go. Oh. Neutral is engaged and we are ready. So she's all nicely warmed up. She's already dribbling little spatters of oil, which is always nice. But I think with a bike like this, you've just got to expect it. And you know, if it's if it's losing oil, just put more in it. Uh, the brakes, it's like stopping a Britney ferry. Ah, Britney. But the character. And the noise, to be fair, is pretty nice. Let's get the ventilation going. It's pretty, pretty hot. Everyone's out in their old classic beasts. Uh, so I have no speedometer on this bike. I have no mirrors on this bike. Uh, ugh, it stinks. Not the bike. So it's quite difficult to ride. But it's a 1978, and it's outside of the. MOT requirement window, which seems just crazy in this modern age, while they've just decided to go, yeah, well, if it gets to a certain age, don't worry about the MOT. So you could literally just ride a shed. Anyway, that's them rules, so it's quite nice to have a little bit of lax rules these days. And slowly apply the throttle, gently poodle along on this lovely little country lane. There's a bird of prey on the power cables. And the more I ride non-sports bikes on the road, the more I think it makes complete sense because I've got a, a, a double R on loan at the moment, a new one, and it's so bloody fast that it's kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's just so, you, you don't enjoy it unless you're going well, well, well illegal speeds, so then you're kind of like, well, it's a bit dangerous. Not for the, the compliance of the bike, it's, it's amazing, it's a very safe bike, but it's dangerous to get busted by the feds, which nobody wants, hello? So I'm kind of turning more to the classic stuff, maybe it's my age. I am 41 years old now, which is uh, getting on a bit. I like not having to go stupid speed, and that's why I like the GS, because you can actually go stupid speed on that, but most of the time, you can just chill got anyone behind us. That's the thing I hate about no mirrors. It's like, is there someone behind me? And then eventually you look round and there's no one there and you've been paranoid for like five minutes. Look at these guys. It must be dinner time. But it, it, riding an old bike is just fun and yes I'm probably gonna break down in a minute. I'm well prepared. But you just 
just enjoy yourself. Yes, the brakes are shocking. They will stop you, but you know, just not as fast as uh, some Siri Oro discs and a Costa Coffee master cylinder. So what's this particular bike like to ride? Well, it's quite firm, to be honest with you. Um, it's definitely a lot firmer than a standard R100. This has got, if you remember, this has got the sort of Panigale style horizontal shock, which has been a success in some ways and uh, not so much of a success in others. It's definitely, it definitely works, which is good. And that's trying to, you know, you're trying to pioneer a different method of doing things to make your custom bike stand out from the rest. So that's good, that's good that it works. Is it a bit harsh? It's a bit harsh, yes. Um, could it do with a softer spring? Probably, but that's an easy, easy solve. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit bouncy on the body, but other than that, she's all right. Uh, which way should we go? Let's go this way. I think I've got an indicator. Yes. Makes a nice noise. This is where the GoPro will go really cheesy and YouTube will make it really low bitrate. Sorry, it's, that's a quick point actually. When everyone complains about bad quality camera, the, the, the difficulty is the bit rate which YouTube will apply to it. It's a set rate. And if you've got thousands of little leaves and little bits of detail, that's going to require more data than a flat or buildings in a city, for example. So that's why country rides with leaves and stuff and asphalt itself, which has got, you know, texture to it. That's why they always look a bit shit. But I like riding in the countryside, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Deal with it! So yeah, so shock is a little bit, little bit stiff, a little bit hard. Uh, brakes are original brakes from 1978. They, they work. Could they be better? Yes, definitely. Now, forks feel all right, to be fair. They were re-valved. Um, re-oiled and re-sprung. I've got this uh, somewhat unintuitive control system. So here, this is uh, Bike Sport Development's like track day gear, really. So that's my kill switch. That's my starter. That's full beam. Uh, that's indicate right, indicate left. And that's it. No one behind me. Am I still recording? I don't know. It's just a gamble. It's a Michael Gambon. In terms of actual performance of the engine, oh, we'll see. It's actually not that bad. Uh, the performance is, is not that bad. It's not a deathly slow bike. Yes, of course, by modern standards, it's, it's very slow and very heavy. But for, for doing what it does, which is just cruising along through the countryside, it's got more than enough poke. I've no idea what the horsepower would be. I'd say it's probably about 45, something like that, just from just from the feel. Um, maybe 50. Yeah, she's 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 a sweet sweet old lady. Uh, this headlight is actually a a modern R9T headlight from a BMW R9T. Funny enough, and. Uh, so it does actually, dis it's actually got a decent headlight, so if you do get stuck out at night, you're not riding with like a three candela old Bakelite torch as your guidance system. So that's quite a nice bit of modern tech. Uh, the tyres, these are the old Firestone fancy bike shed hipster tyres. Are they any good? Not really nice to ride on, to be honest. Um, but they look cool, and really, that's kind of why you put them on your bike. As simple as that, tarty, look cool. Um, they're very square, can you see that? <laughs> and a bit wobbly, it looks like it's moving left to right. I think that's just because it's been sat for a long time, so I've got a bit of... Uh, really, it should have been sat in a chock or something, because it's, it's like the tyre's deflated and then deformed a little bit, which isn't helping the vibes. It's not, it's not a pitifully slow bike. 
that sounds bloody brilliant. <laughs> Yay! I mean, saying it's not slow, I don't know, because I don't have a speedometer, but that's like pretty much full on the brakes, which is not good, is it? It does have a twin disc though, so... To be, and actually, it might just need, you know, really, it's prob I've probably only done 50 miles on this bike since it was built, so it, they probably just need bedding in. It needs using. That's the thing with a lot of old stuff. Don't just leave it hanging around. You've got to get it out and use it, or all the seals will dry up. Fork seals will definitely get like a dry ring piece, and then as soon as you put some pressure, it will just crack like a fissure. <laughs> uh, I really don't like this. This is original suspension twiddler, uh, and I and Smoky Customs guys when they built it they put a initial here. I really don't like that. I want to get like a leather clad knobble on it or something. I may even I don't know. I may even upgrade the forks. We'll see. But I don't know why I'd upgrade the forks. It's just use of one of those things. Motorbikes just make you waste money, don't they? But yeah, it kind of runs straight. It's a little bit, actually it goes to the right quite, quite a lot. <laughs> Mind you, that was just the way I was sitting, to be fair. But for just cruising along, going down the pub, obviously not drinking. <laughs> it's a great thing. That makes a nice sound. I mean, it's really not that slow. But it's certainly not a sports bike, or anything modern. I mean, it's 40, it's the same age as me. This is from my birth year, so it's 41. That's why I said my age at the beginning of the video. I wondered why. It was born at the same time as me. Obviously, this was born in Berlin. Were the engines made in Berlin? I think they were. I think they still are, actually. Uh, the seat's actually pretty comfy. Uh, it's quite narrow, so you probably can't see this, but where the tank grips my inner thigh, where my thigh grips the tank, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but yeah, it's not too bad. Peg position's quite high for what this is. I mean, it's not as if ground clearance is going to be an issue with the foot pegs, considering the cylinder heads stick out like a bloody schoolboy's boner. I'm actually just going to let this car sod off because it's annoying me. How are we doing? Are we on fire? No, we're not on fire. We're kind of all right. Come on, lady. Oh, yeah. And that's as fast as I want to go because I can't stop. So what's been happening with you guys, hey? In the... Um, Covid world. Are we post-Covid now or are we still in the middle? I don't know. It does seem, I mean, I'll probably do a video just chatting, not about bikes, just, just about shit. Um, and uh, give you my thoughts, if you care. I mean, it has taken a global pandemic to get me out on the bike and making a video for you guys. And actually, I'm going to try. I've, I've got, I've got another. I've got a beautiful 916 Ducati, Ducati, which I love. It's probably one of my favourite things to ride. And I haven't done a video on that. I've had that for two years. I've got a RSV4 RF, which is my track bike. You might have seen that on 44T. Uh, I bought my old MV Augusta F4 RR back, which was my budget bike, battle bike. So actually, I'm, I am going older with machines and if you've just watched the latest budget bike battle Benidorm then you will see that how well those 15 year old bikes performed against all the modern tech really there's not that much in it yes their modern bikes are a lot easier and they can go faster but yeah the older bikes they're still just as thrilling maybe even more thrilling Isn't that interesting? Of course, I had to put my tan gloves and my retro jacket on today. 
because that's all part of the uh, hipster style, right? Now oh, the rear brake's absolute dog turd. That's me. Yay! So I hope you've enjoyed this little soiree on my 1978 BMW R100. Uh, this bike is going to be on display the Barnstormer BMW showroom in Alton, which I spend a lot of time at. They're redoing part of their showroom, and this will be on display, like up on a big plinth in the sky. And I think that's probably going to open in a couple of weeks. Uh, so if you want to come and have a look at the bike, that's where it'll be. If they don't get pissed off with it dropping oil everywhere. I mean, I did toy about a toy with selling the bike. I still am toying with selling it because not because I don't like it, but it's one of those things that once you've done it, I just want to move on to the next thing, and you obviously need to release funds to be able to do that. And be, in, be under no illusion if you ever decide to recondition an old bike you are most likely going to lose a shitload of money. Uh, that's just the way it works. It's kind of, it's the tax for enjoying yourself playing with motorbikes. But particularly custom. If you're going to custom anything, it's very unlikely that you'll find another buyer that has exactly the same taste as you have. I've got into cycling. Wow, what a turnaround. I've never hated cycling. I just find some of the cyclists to be very, very um, tough to interact with, let's put it that way, and a bit righteous. Um, but I, I cycle to work now almost every day, which is about 15 miles each way, so it's enough to get the, uh, the pork belly down a bit. But I'm still fat, and that's the thing, you know, all these people comment, uh, and I'm sure they're all 20 years old, going, oh, you put on a bit of weight, or so-and-so's a bit fat. A, it's pretty rude to say that to someone. Uh, and B, when you get to 40, um, you're going to see just how hard it is to shift weight. Because <laughs> your body's, your metabolism's at 20 years old. I mean, you could sit around and eat burgers and, sh and shit. Literally, you could shovel shit into your face 24-7 and not get fat. So, we'll see. And when you finally reach that age, you'll go, shit, yeah, it's a bit, oh, it's really not very nice for me to call someone fat. And I don't know why men can say that, say that to each other a lot, whereas women don't. Like a woman would never say to someone else, ha, you're a bit fat. But for some reason, men, it's, you're allowed to say, oh, you're fat, you're bald, you stink, you're ugly. <laughs> Basically my life. I'm not bald. Well, I'm balding. I'm sort of gin Robinsoning it from uh, neighbours. They're still there, waiting for Lily Allen to turn up. I don't know why Lily Allen. Shakira. I used to fancy Shakira. I still fancy Shakira. These fucking roads in this fucking country, even on a push bike, they're disgraceful. Go on, love. Oh, yeah. That bird is still there, hanging out, lazy bastard. There's another one, red kite. A friend of mine hit one of those the other day, they're fucking massive. In fact, I hit a blackbird, just shot out the hedge. No chance. Hit me on the shoulder. And if you think, if you've ever been pinged by a little stone on your finger, it actually really hurts. A blackbird is pretty heavy. I had my first McDonald's yesterday as well. Completely overordered. I haven't eaten anything since, actually. And this is the MOT Bay, which was where I shouldn't park, but I will. Well, well done, little lady. Job's a dream. Oh, I was about to put the side stand down. But there isn't one. Let's go down here, and we'll just lean it against this. Yeah. And key down here. Off. So yeah, that's my girl. Hopefully this is still recording. If it's not, I'm going to kill myself. Yay. So yeah, shotgun exhausts. That's why it sounds so good. So, so we've got an undertail exhaust and then a side shotgun exhaust. 
let me turn the lights on because they're pretty cool and those are the hidden tail lights these little bits up here I'll just hide these so the camera adjusts so those bits up the top they're the indicators for the rear uh, yeah these are the tires I was talking about they're interesting they're not amazing uh, and that's the shock unit so this was all engineered took ages to work all that well well done love well done well done so this is the uh, Barnstormer their new workshop and then up here is the delights of Motorline and that's Ben there you'll often find him on the phone doing a bit of a deal uh, that's my R9T I need to do a video on this as well this is super cool this has got um, full Wilbur's boxer cup suspension shock full system it's very nice I'll leave that for now and yeah, here's the stock. Come and have a look. Come and have a look if you think you're hard enough. And here's the budget bike battle bikes. That was my R1, which triumphed. And that's the other one. Yeah, cool. Right, well, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Speak to you later, guys. Bye.